Hello, welcome to my video. So today we're going to see about a recent release from Microsoft about um, a facility to a feature to just convert your chat messages directly into Teams task. Or you could even convert your channel conversations into a task that goes into your uh, planner task as well. So let's see uh, how we can do that. So first of all, this is my tenant planner hub. And as you can see, I have two plans under the group COVID-19 finance support and uh, COVID-19 support. So these are the two plans I have. Under uh, each plan, I'll just quickly show you. So under this plan, I have two buckets, Christmas and New Year. And similarly for COVID-19 task, I have C-19 critical task, just one bucket, right? Okay, so go back to the teams. So for this, how to convert is you just need to hover over any chat conversation, for example, no mic, mic is not working, so I'm just going to hover over it. Click on three dots, yeah, come down, more, more actions, and you can see a new option will be showing up called create tasks. So you click on that. So this will load up um, a pop-up to create a task. This is task has not been created yet, but it's just going to configure and we can create the task so either you can create the task in the tasks app which is right over here in your own tasks in the teams app or you can drop down and it lists down all the planners that uh, you have in your tenant which you have access to it not all the planners in the tenant the planners that you have access to it so since i'm global admin for this tenant i can see uh, the two um, planners in my tenant the covid19 support and COVID-19 finance support, right? So I'm going to pick this, for example, over here, COVID-19 task. It will list down all the bucket into this. So we have only one bucket. So you can put the progress, you can set the priority, and you can even put the due date. And you can assign it to, uh, I think there's only one name in that team. That's fine. And, and, if you want to put this uh, this action that you're doing as creating a task as a reply to this task you can leave this as it is but if you don't want untick this but i'm going to for this demo i'm going to leave this ticked so you can see what happens so post a reply about this task is ticked and i'm clicking on add task click so it's creating a task now under the general covid 19 task as you can see since i left the tick as it is to create as a um, as a reply to that uh, no no mic is working it is created as a reply in this chat conversation okay let's go back into the teams covid 19 tasks over here uh, okay it just refresh it just appeared now so as you can see, no mic, mic is not working. This is the one we have just created and uh, it created with whom I was chatting with at what time and date and this short description and it also have a link to the chat conversation. So if you click that, it will take you to here, to the exact spot where I was uh, chatting with and I decided to create this as a task. Cool. And you can also click details from here and it will take you to the uh, actual task in the planner but if you want to see this directly in the uh, in the planner task app it, within the teams you can click on the task by planner as well and and choose the and choose the correct um, correct planner uh, and the team which you want to and you can see the task has been created so this is the one oh, mic not working like it will show all the details that we have used as a create with the same link so you can either you view as a planner and also uh, by the planner task app in the within the teams right okay so same way we can also do the same within a teams channel conversation so um, let's pick something uh, go to a channel uh, under that there is a lot of conversation so if if you hover over this action as well you can still get to choose the create task option will show up and similarly is the same 
but this time let's create uh, under the tasks yeah I'm just going to leave it as it is and put a due date and click add task okay it's been created let's go back to the task app and click on it's not in the planner so you don't need to go into that so it's under the main my task so click on task and there you go it's super easy they have just uh, removed all the need to create a flow and you know all the manual work that we have to do to achieve this so it's super easy so you hopefully it will be helpful for you thanks for watching bye